Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Renee Rivera coming at you guys from the r, &R Designs. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to wrap this package tray for a 61 Impala that we built. Um, this package tray uh, is, is more, compli more complicated than the previous video that we showed you guys on how to wrap that, that other panel with the little Impala and them. This one has a, a little bit more complex, like the, like the shapes are a little more complex and there's these tighter areas in here that, that, that are a little bit, not difficult, but there's a proper way to get the material in there so it looks nice and tight. And that's what we're gonna be showing you guys right now in this video. So I sprayed uh, glue on the entire panel, on the entire package tray, I sprayed glue on it. I let that tack up for 10, 15 minutes. And then when you do this package tray, um, I do it and I fold it in half. I fold the material in half. So I've already done this, this other half down here. Um, so you would fold it in half, you spray the glue on the material, and again, you let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, after the, the glue is tacked up, now we're gonna go ahead and fold it over that way and start pressing it in into, into where it goes. Um, with, with one of the tricks that, that, that we do to get this real tight is you actually feed the material into all these little crevices first. You lock it, you lock it, on, you lock it in tight by pressing on it firmly and then you work out the wrinkles towards, towards the outside. Always pulling the material at an angle. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So here it goes. Pulling the material. I'm gonna give it a little pull this way. And then I'm gonna start locking it in. I'm pulling on it. I'm gonna lock it in here. And I'm gonna work my way towards the shape. So, I'm going in there. Now I'm gonna start pressing it into these shapes here first. So here goes that. So you use your finger, you use your finger to, to push in, inside that little, inside of that little groove right there, or on the edge of the, um, of the wood, over the wood piece, or the wood shape. So we got that locked in right there. Now we're gonna lock in the middle section, the middle opening of that shape. So to do that, I'm going to just, I'm not pulling the vinyl at all, I'm just letting the vinyl fall, fall inside of that shape. On it kind of on its own and then I'm, I'm pressing I'm pressing firmly inside of the shape first so so we're going that there's a little wrinkle that wants to form there we're gonna get that out right now so then I'm always pulling at an angle so I'm locking it in I'm pulling it at an angle there so that's that these little corners are locked in now I'm gonna start working these wrinkles out so I'm gonna pull the material and pull on it at an angle until the little wrinkles start coming out. There, right here I'm pulling straight. By pressing firmly on it, it locks it in. Right now I'm gonna get this little wrinkle that wants to form. I'm gonna get that out by pulling it up and pulling it at an angle, the material. You pull on it firm, firmly, right there. And then, now I'm gonna work these little wrinkles out by pulling it that way. There goes that. There. You want to pull on it firm. You want to pull on it. I guess part of this is you have to have some some muscle strength in your hands because you want you want to pull on it pretty pretty good and tight. So that's starting to come out right there. So we're gonna work this area and this area. I'm gonna pull that way first, and then I'm gonna pull this way, and that's how you start. Start doing this, and the key to this is to try to to try to um, avoid getting any wrinkles. So, so now pretty much that's locked in. I'm gonna clean this side up right here. I'll push that, pull that, pulling that at that angle, and then you want to lock in like the little edges of the shape. You want to lock that in with your finger. I use my finger. Just push it in there. So now that's it's already taking shape. So now, where after after it's right here, after the shape is, is pretty generally outlined, then you're gonna get one of these tools. This is called a tucking tool. Um, so it's pretty nice. This I've sanded it so it doesn't have any rough edges. So I'm gonna get this tucking tool and press on all the outside edges of the shape. So I'm gonna just run it across there, and that locks it in really nice and sharp. It makes the lines really sharp. As you can see, so you're gonna outline the whole shape there. 
there, and, and then as soon as, like, instantly as you run this across, it makes the line super sharp. It locks it in really nice. So now that that's outlined, now we're gonna work all the wrinkles out. And again, at an angle, always pulling at an angle. There, so we're gonna start right there. We're gonna pull that way. This little guy wants to form here. We're gonna pull this way. So when you're doing this, you're always pulling the material. You're always pulling the material at an angle and giving it a good pull to get those wrinkles out that want that wants to start to form. So that's already ready to go. So now we're gonna clean up this area up here. So again, pulling at an angle that way, at an angle that way. This I'm gonna pull straight, right there, nice and tight, right there. And again with contact cement, when you press down on it with force is when it locks in. So there it is, that's, that's looking good. It's locked in, it's all nice and sharp. And we're gonna turn this around and show you guys how to trim it. All right, so now we're gonna um, turn the panel around and we're gonna spray glue. We're gonna spray the contact cement on the little edges of these openings and as well as all the way around uh, this, this back portion, this material is gonna be folded over and glued. So we're gonna be spraying the glue. So that's what we're doing now. All right, uh, so now we've uh, sprayed the glue in the back and as you can see, I've trimmed the vinyl like, like in little triangles. Uh, and the reason why I did that is because when you fold over these edges, they don't overlap onto each other by cutting it this way. So that's how we recommend that you do it. So you, after you do that, you start pulling on these firmly. And as you can see, the material doesn't overlap onto each other. So that's the reason for doing that. Um, and, then, and then inside of here, inside of this, the, the little design, uh, you, we cut the material in the same way. We cut little, little, um, little pieces here, little, little strips that you're gonna pull on firmly to tighten up these little radiuses. So we did that on all the radiuses, if you notice. So, so this is what I mean. So you pull it tight, and you pull that, this little guy right here, this little sliver of material, and it pulls and it locks in that little corner. So that's the reason why we cut that material, and uh, we suggest you guys do that for the best result. So you pull it tight like that. This little sliver, you pull it tight that way, that way. This one, fold it tight. As you can see from the back, that's what it looks like. So that's how you get nice uh, sharp lines. That's how we, that's how we do our stuff. So that is. Pause it. Pause it.